Coming up in today's episode of the Internet Marketing Show. How to get off to the best start with a new website. Last week's comment winner will be announced. And a fantastic tool for organising and automating your email newsletters. to episode 3 of the Internet Marketing Show, brought to you at www.theinternetmarketingshow.com. Let's get straight into last week's comments winner, who wins our no expenses spared Logitech cordless keyboard and mouse. And the winner is Colin McCann for comment number 5. So Colin, we'll be in touch with you shortly for your delivery details, and I hope it serves you well. Before we move on, I'd like to point out that this show is now syndicated and embedded on many websites, social media sites and video sites. And the only way you can be included in the comment draw is to leave your comment on the video blog at www.theinternetmarketingshow.com. So whichever way you keep up to date with the show is fine. However, to be included in the draws, simply visit our video blog and leave your comments there. And now it's time for Ask Mark. This week's question comes from Phil Kiniston. And Phil asked, what's the first thing I should be doing to attract traffic to a fledgling site? Well, Phil, for this, I'll assume that you've done your keyword research correctly. You have Google Analytics installed. And that's all you need to do is now get some traffic. Whenever I launch a brand new site, before I set about optimising all of the pages and conducting more permanent traffic generation or advertising strategies, I like to test the whole sales structure and performance of the website first. And there really is only one way you can do this quickly and effectively, and that is using pay-per-click. Pay-per-click allows you to instantly send traffic through to your website in order for you to test your sales process. You might then want to change something on the website to see if you can improve sales. Simply pause your pay-per-click campaign, make the change and then reactivate the campaign. By making one change at a time and monitoring your results, you'll soon create a slick, irresistible sales process. Now, providing you keep a close eye on your analytics, you'll find that some of your keywords are performing better than others. For example, one keyword might send you a lot of traffic, but little in the way of sales. And another keyword, whilst not sending as much traffic, might make you more sales and more money. And it's these keywords you want to target and optimise your website for in the future. So Phil, I hope that gets you started with your new site and congratulations go to Phil because Phil wins three months subscription to my Marketers Inner Circle, which contains a monthly printed entrepreneur newsletter and audio CD packed full of internet marketing advice and interviews with successful entrepreneurs and industry experts. To get your question answered in our next episode, visit theinternetmarketingshow.com and click on the Ask Mark button. Now it's time for Tool of the Week. Over the last episodes, we've spoken about building a relationship with your visitors and the best place to put your opt-in forms. So I thought that today's tool should be Eye Contact. Eye Contact is a fantastic service for creating and sending your email campaigns. It's extremely easy to use and you can be set up in five minutes or so. I personally use Eye Contact for all of my online ventures and I'm sure you'll be happy with the service they provide. Now Eye Contact is not a free service, however it is amazingly cost effective and you can try it out on a free trial basis for 14 days. What I particularly like about Eye Contact is the stats it provides about the emails you send such as the open rate, who's opened and what links they've clicked on and when. 
You can also set up personal automated email responders, surveys and much, much more. If you're not running an email newsletter yet, I highly recommend that you head over to www.icontact.com and test out the free trial I have on offer. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. OK, today I'd like to talk a little about taking action. I see many people planning to start internet businesses, but they never seem to get around to actually doing it. And here's why. Many of them are actually looking for perfection and spend so much time trying to perfect every little aspect about their product, service or website. And here's the thing. It, whatever it is, will never be perfect. This is one of the biggest holdbacks I've observed with people who never seem to get going with their online business. Now take this show for example. I feel we're a long way to go before I and my team master producing a weekly web-based TV show. I for one find talking on stage or over the phone much easier than speaking directly to a camera. And my colleague John, who edits, renders and uploads the show, has only just started learning about all that. Technical stuff. But that doesn't stop us from taking action and making it happen. Sure, we'll make mistakes and so will you with your business. But the best way to learn and move forward with your ideas is to take action and make your ideas reality instead of a dream. And as time goes by, you'll gain momentum and you can improve and perfect to your heart's content. So before we go, I'd like you to think about something that you've been planning to get done for a while. Make a promise to yourself to take action and worry about perfecting things later. Otherwise, I guarantee you, this time next year, you'll still be in the same position you are today. Well, that's all we have time for this episode. But stay tuned next week when I'll be answering your internet marketing questions and revealing another great resource to help you get more done within your business. So, until next time, I'm Mark Bowden, wishing you the very best of success with your internet business. Thank you.